Hey guys, today I want to talk to the men, my brothers. I want to talk about an issue that I think is near and dear to so many of our hearts, and it's the issue of confidence. I feel like in our world we have these extremes, right? We have the macho attitude guys, the UFC fighters who want to basically punch you in the face just because you're in their way. And on the other hand, we have the other extreme where people walk down their halls or their workplaces and their shoulders are all crumpled in. They're like, hey, I'm sorry for being alive. I can't decide on anything. Mom, decide for me. We have this issue where men aren't comfortable in their own skin. Because if you're a meathead, if you're a macho guy, you're insecure about who you are and your ability, so you're busy pushing other people down. And on the other hand, you have guys who are so insecure about themselves, they're like apologizing for being alive, and neither are good. We need to be confident in the fact that God created us in His image and likeness. And yeah, that's cliche, but it really takes this attitude of, I'm gonna sit with Jesus in prayer. Because who is the man? That's the quintessential question. Who the man? The man of Jesus Christ. The man is the one who laid down his life for his bride, the church. The man is the one who took up a job for 30 years as a carpenter and as a construction worker. The man is the faithful Christ who literally li lived this hidden life, a life of faithfulness, but a life of responsibility. And I want to talk about the issue of confidence because if we lack confidence, this is what happens. We fall into these extremes. I think in some practical settings what happens is when guys aren't confident, they don't take risks. They don't, for example, ever take that job because they feel like they don't have anything to offer. They don't fill in that application because they feel like it won't be accepted. They don't walk and talk to that girl who could potentially be their future wife because they're like, <laughs> she's out of my league. Well, how would you know unless you talk to her. You know, there's this attitude that I will be rejected because I have nothing to offer. I'm just a second class relic, I'm no good. You know, um, that guy, he's talented. That guy, he's good looking. That guy, he's athletic and successful. But me, nah, I'm just kind of a nobody. That's really a terrible attitude. You're basically tripping yourself before you even take the first step. Gentlemen, what is your worst fear? Is it that I'm just gonna be rejected? Um, she won't go out on a date with me if I ask her. Well, so what? Just move forward. What is the worst thing that anybody could say to you? No? Um, some of the most successful people on the planet were told no over and over and over again. But that one yes that went down, that was extremely important. So gentlemen, here's my challenge to you, is I want you to understand that this world really needs you to be the truly best created version that you could possibly be, that no one can really replace you. If you're an athlete, fantastic. If you're a mathlete, wonderful. Because this world truly needs the authentic version of who you are and not a, a makeshift model of somebody else. So take those risks. Do not be afraid of someone saying no. Because if they say no, that means that yes is waiting for you. Um, when I met my wife, I, I really had to start challenging myself even in that context of dating, where I was so afraid of a girl saying no and saying, nah, you're not my time, I don't wanna go on a date with you, that I wouldn't even bother to talk to women in that way. But thankfully, I, I, I gathered some confidence, and the way I did that was by taking risks. I would start in social settings by talking to women, just, you know, carrying on a conversation. Please no pick up lines. Please no weird macho stuff. Just, just be yourself. Be confident. Um, that's what women appreciate. They want you, to, they want to know that a man has a, a good head on his shoulders, has respect, has class, can treat a woman with respect, and that's what they want to see. That you have goals and you have dreams and you have a vision. Okay, because no woman wants to be with a man who doesn't have those things. So take those risks. When I met my wife at, my future wife then, at my friend's wedding reception, um, I merely walked up to her and I started a conversation. And I just shared about my life and I listened to, to her sharing about hers. And, and the rest is history. But if I didn't take that first step, would have never met her. But obviously, if you're single, it's not an issue. Um, relationship doesn't solve all your problems. That, that's not what I'm trying to tell you right now. But what I'm trying to say is, if you live in the spirit of confidence, knowing who you are as God's son, you are strong, you are powerful, you have the grace and the worth and the dignity to do great things. But until you start believing in yourself, no one can tell you otherwise. You gotta make those risks. So whether it's in your relationships, whether it's at work, whether it's spiritually, whether it's going to church and taking those first steps to reconnect with God, you gotta make those risks. And there's a great adventure waiting for you, but it's not going to happen until you get out of your comfort zone and do something about it. So men, gentlemen, brothers, 
Do something about it. Do something with your life today. Go do something great. It begins with that first step. Don't be afraid of rejection. Peace.